morning everyone welcome back to the vlog i cannot believe that july is around the corner that is just so crazy to me every year just seems to go faster and faster and i know that's the pattern as you get older but it's just insane this year is just flying like one second it's january and i blink and now it's almost july but that also makes me excited for a few reasons because first and foremost I am a July baby, so it's almost my birth month, which I'm so excited. I'm born on the 23rd, so more towards the end of the month, but still, I'm going to celebrate all month long because live your life, say yes to life. Every day should be a celebration. And two, I love planning, organizing, and setting myself up for success for the upcoming month. So, today's going to be a very productive day. I have a lot on my to-do list that I want to get done. It is quite ambitious. We're gonna see how much we can get through, but I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling inspired. I got a great night of sleep last night, and I woke up before my alarm at 6.30. I wanna start the morning off strong with a little bit of movement, so I thought we could take the bean for a little stroll around the block, just to start to get some steps in, and then maybe when I come back, I can do a weights workout because I did one just last week and it felt so good to lift weights again and sweat a lot. <laughs> Outfit is very simple but super cute for a little morning walk. So I've got my sports bra on from Nike that I got from the Youth Olympics like literally a decade ago. Still fits me. And then my little crop zip up and biker shorts are from Halara. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah? You wanna go? <laughs> yeah, let's come on. Come on. Let's go. The gals are ready. Just gotta grab your treats and my coffee. because I thought it would be a little chilly this morning like I even looked at the weather app but apparently it's warm up which is a delight it's gonna be a beautiful day I think if you guys are looking for a new workout to switch up your routine if it's getting a little repetitive definitely try this one obviously I'm not like a certified trainer or anything like that but I do love this workout and I find that it's very effective I get a good sweat in and it's really quick if you don't have a ton of time in total, it takes 24 minutes. Of course, you can add more breaks if you'd like. Um, but I did type out the workout I'm going to do right now so that you can screenshot it and follow it if you want to try it out. But we're going to get right into it. I got my water bottle filled up and ready to go. This is the one I got from TJ Maxx last week on clearance. But I will have it linked below because they do sell this brand on Amazon. Um, and it's 64 ounces, so this is a good way to get your water intake in for the day. This workout requires minimal equipment. I always just work out at home. You don't need a gym. So you're gonna need a yoga mat, a resistance band. I got this resistance band in a set of three on Amazon. Some hand weights, these ones are eight pounds, a water bottle for hydrating, and a stopwatch to measure the time.
all freshened up and ready for the day. That workout was so good. Definitely recommend trying it out. If you do, make sure to tag me because I would love to see. But I do quickly want to run to Target because I was there a couple days ago and I picked up some concealer I thought would match my shade. So it matches like my skin tone, but it's way too orange for me. So I want to just return those because they didn't work and, you know, don't want to throw money down the drain. And I also need to buy a new like towel rack for my bathroom because I actually broke the one that has been in there for years. So that's the Target plan. It's going to be a quick in and out. But while we're in the car, I want to take a moment to thank Drift for sponsoring today's video. So Drift is actually Scentbird's sister company, which you guys know I love. Drift creates air care products for your car and your home. So the materials they use are sustainable and their scents are made with natural essential and fragrance oils, which is so great. And their car products are just around $9 for wood and metal and $14 for stone. So I have the scent Grove. It smells so fresh and clean. It's very citrus and makes the car smell amazing. It comes with this metal clip which is so easy you just slide into your visor. So you just slide it on in like that. There's a magnet on the back of the air freshener so it just snaps in nice and easy. Just like that. What's great about Drift is that you can get these air fresheners as a monthly subscription. First you'll receive the starter kit with the clip and the scent, and then you can just get monthly refills as they recommend you changing it every 30 days. For me, scents are always attached to good memories or seasons of the year, which Drift also tries to take into account when they're creating their scents. What's really cool is they also have a scent of the month on their website, which features a new limited edition scent. And also it's always good to switch up your scents because nose blindness is a real thing. You can start to not smell a scent after you've been around it for a really long amount of time. Variety is always good. The subscription is also very flexible. You can change the scent, the delivery frequency, and you can also cancel the subscription at any time you'd like. It's definitely worth a try. Make sure to use my discount code jbelt 55 for 55% off at Drift for your first month. With that being said, let's strap on in and do a quick run to Target. It's starting to rain, which is not fun, but hopefully that'll pass pretty soon. I'm in the bath area. I need to find where I can get the rack. Oh my god, that was thunder. Here's the curtain rods, but I'm not finding the shape I need. I need it to be like a square. I feel like there's so many things I need to get done before I go to England, which is in less than two weeks. I'm so excited, so I have to pick out my outfits, plan my outfits, pull out everything, pack, like get myself all ready. That'll be another video, but there's also things I can get done ahead of time content wise so that that is like taken care of before I leave. One of my non-negotiables every single morning is journaling, but also writing out a to-do list of everything I want to accomplish. This just keeps me like in order. I know what's going on, especially when I have so many things I want to try and do. Sometimes one or two things can slip my brain, so if I write it all out, I can stay on track and check things off after they're done, which is obviously satisfying to me. <laughs> Gonna be honest with you, my room has definitely looked neater. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff everywhere and I really need to organize it. This is giving me so much anxiety. You have no idea. So I need to clean this up. We're going to do like a 10 minute tidy. Take care of that. Take care of all that random stuff. Like why do I have money just sitting here? We're going to do a rapid clean. It's not even dirty. It's just unorganized. So we're going to fix that. All right. This looks so much better. That clutter was driving me nuts and I've been needing to do it for a couple days now. So I'm glad I finally took care of that. It looks so much better. This is organized a bit more. This is all taken care of and I've also taken the bags off those hooks right there. I need to do a load of laundry. I have this like sample detergent. I've actually never used something like this before. So it's supposed to dissolve in water. I don't think I need this full thing. So I'm going to use half. And then I'll save the half for another time. It smells really good though. I really don't have that much laundry, but it's always nice to do a little refresh. The load is actually quite small, so I'm only gonna use a quarter of that detergent sheet. Next thing on my to-do list is finish editing a vlog. So I'm gonna stand at my standing desk because 
I get crazy if I sit for too long. So I'm just gonna stand here and do some work. The next thing I need for this setup is a walking pad. Then we will be set. My little desk setup makes me so happy. It's my favorite part of my room. I wish I could take this whole thing with me to the ship. It is three o'clock. I have made it back home from skating. I had a really good session actually. I ended up skating for like an hour 20 or so. It's so nice skating there because it's always really quiet. And even though the kids are finished with school now, like there was only maybe seven or eight of us total on the ice. And you don't even know how good it feels to skate on a big surface after being confined to like a small ice surface. Now I am just having a little bite to eat because I'm hungry. I brought a protein bar with me on the way there. So I ate that, but I'm really hungry now and I need to have some protein after skating again. So I have my little non-fat Greek yogurt cup from Aldi and I've just thrown some granola in there. The weather outside is atrocious. It was pouring rain my drive there like the last 15 minutes or so and it's still raining now here. So that's definitely a bummer because I totally thought it was going to be a nice day out. But anyways, it's fine. I have a lot of stuff I need to get done on the computer. So I'm going to eat this and then we're going to hop back on the computer, get some emailing done. I have to plan out my uploads for July and I want to fill in my planner as well for the week. I was literally just gonna apologize for my crazy hair, but I'm realizing that this is what it's looked like the entire day. <laughs> Anyways, I had a really nice evening. My uncle came over for dinner, so we had dinner, had a little coffee and dessert after, and then I took Coco for a little stroll with my mom for like 20 minutes after dinner, which was really nice. We had a sunset stroll because finally it stopped raining. It was raining the entire day. And now I just wanted to film a little quick mini Q&A before we go to bed. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to do that because that's usually where I post my Q&A. So let's just start from the bottom. What's next career-wise for you? Short term, I am going to explore of the seas. That's my next contract. And that's gonna be starting in August. Beyond that, I do not know quite yet. I'm really not sure because that contract is going to end in 2024. So I will reevaluate 
when the time comes um, obviously I kind of have to plan ahead so I'm thinking of what I might want to do after that but as of right now I don't have any answers why did you leave wonder so early so I didn't leave the contract early the contract that I signed before I even arrived there was for four months and that was because I requested to go to the Explorer in August and I was I was offered that contract so in order to be there in time my boss gave me a four-month contract on Wonder and a little bit of vacation in between which is really nice. Advice for auditioning to be a Royal Caribbean performer. I would say the biggest thing is just keep working on your skills keep developing all your tricks and elements and stage presence. At the end of the day, your elements are not the most important part of the show. Your performance is, your facial expressions, your posture, your extension, all of that. So wherever you are, just keep building on that and also just really embrace what makes you a quality performer because everyone has something different to bring to the table. So what is it that makes you special and stand out from everyone else? Odd, but what happens if someone needs emergency dental care on board? Because we are insured while we are on a contract, if we need like an emergency procedure or something like that having to do with medical, they will usually send us to a location off the ship, depending on where in the world the ship is positioned. They do have facilities on land that they can send us to. Do you plan to do more partner skating training and doing it in shows? Does it pay more? A huge goal of mine for next contract is to learn almost every pair trick and get it on the ice. So first when you're learning it, you start on the ground with a spotter or maybe two spotters. Once you're feeling really confident with timing and overall consistency of doing it on the floor, then you can transition it onto the ice. So I definitely want to focus on that. It doesn't pay more. All of our salaries differ based on what we did competitively. So it doesn't necessarily pay more, but again, it is a different thing that I could try. How long is your next contract and are you excited to be with Calum for it? Next contract is going to be an eight month contract and I'm so excited to be with Callum on board. Like it's gonna make a world of a difference. Even though I had the best time on Wonder, it did really suck to be apart from him and it just was a lot harder than being on board together and like having that support. Obviously I had his support, but it's a little bit different when you're so far apart. It's just always better to be together. How do you stay happy on board? This is a very loaded question. I could do an entire video on this, but the biggest thing for me is prioritizing routine and making sure to keep doing things that fill my soul. So it is very easy to get lost in ship life and you do have to have a really good understanding of yourself. So I know what makes me feel really good. So I just make sure that within my routine and the chaos of ship life, I am taking moments for myself and doing things that make me happy, such as skincare, um, reading, journaling, walking on the track, working out, and also romanticizing the little things, you know? Ooh, this is a fun one. What is your favorite costume you've had out of all of your contracts? To be honest, I think my Sun Solo costume was my favorite costume from any ship. Yeah, it was very sparkly. It was heavy, but it was very pretty. It was like a high neck top and then it had a little mini skirt and the top and bottom had little mirrors on it. And then I had this like sun headpiece. So I don't know, it was my favorite for sure. Do any of the ships go to Asia and would you do a contract there? I don't know right now if any ships are in Asia, maybe Ovation or one of the quantum class. I would love to do a contract in Asia, but unfortunately for me, a majority of the ships that I can work on are currently based out of Florida and they travel to the Caribbean. I always wonder what the scar near your shoulder is from. Is it from a skate? If you're referring to this scar right here, it's actually a really stupid story. So a couple years ago, <laughs> I was home and I was in my basement, which is unfinished, and I was playing with Coco, just chasing her around. And I have a tendency to run into things like all the time. Like I always cut corners and I don't mean to, I just, calibration is off. I ran around the corner and I nicked it on the light switch which didn't have like the plastic cover on top, so it was metal and just sliced it open. So I got nine stitches at emergency or emergent care. What is it called? Immediate care? One of those. Do you ever get bored when you are at home on vacation? To be honest, no. I'm always doing something. I always try to make some kind of plan with friends or family. And if I do have, you know, time to myself. I'm always home working. But yeah, I always find something to entertain myself with and I always try to do a bunch of activities. I'm a big 
activities gal. And I really think I never get bored because I'm always making the most of every moment and just saying yes to life as I say. Favorite part about being home? This is a really tough one. I cannot just pick one. There's so many reasons why I love being home. First one being Coco and my family, my friends, my big bed that's really comfortable. I also love having access to all the foods in the world. Avocados, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, Greek yogurt, falafel. Like I can get, I can have anything I want. The food selection is very limited on the ship. I am very grateful I don't have to pay for it, but it's limited. I also really love having freedom and getting to choose how I spend my day and don't have to, you know, kind of be on call at all times. Even though I do get time off, which is amazing, like things can pop up at any last second and you just have to go with it so it is nice to not have to do that for a change i mean i said my bed before but i really love having my own space yes i don't have my own house or condo yet but getting to have my own room is such a treat and i want to say my room is like double the size probably maybe even three times the size of the crew cabins that we share with somebody i also love waking up to daylight so to answer your question, there's a lot. Favorite part of this contract? The cast, 100% the cast. They were incredible, I miss them so much. It's only been like a week since I saw them last, but I miss every single person and we had such a good time. And they really made the experience just so incredible. What did you major in? My major in college was fashion and textile technology with a concentration in merchandising. So basically I learned more the business aspect of fashion. It was kind of a mishmash of like accounting, buying and styling and also graphic design. And we did also learn designing. So there was a whole, a whole bunch of things in there. Initially going into college, I actually was going to choose a design concentration, but then when I found out there was a merchandising concentration, I thought that would be a better option for me in the long run because I did also want to learn how to create and run a business. What is my favorite thing to do in Buffalo? Oh my goodness, I do not know the answer to this question. Probably eat. <laughs> I love to eat. There's so many good restaurants in Buffalo, and I know I'm biased, but it's true. Quote me on it. And for my final question, where are you planning to travel with your boyfriend this summer? We're actually planning it right now. If it was up to me, I would have planned it weeks ago because I'm very type A and he is very type B. But that's okay because we still have time. <laughs> the trip hasn't even started yet, so we still have plenty of time to sort it out. Right now our plan is to go to Edinburgh, Brussels, Amsterdam, and maybe Luxembourg but we're trying to still finalize the details. And then of course, we're gonna take a day trip to Manchester, to London. I'm excited. Lots of travel content coming soon. Anyways, it is time to hop into bed. I wanna try and wake up early again and do the same routine I did this morning because it felt so good. Thanks again to Drift for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check the link below. I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.